I work for a law firm that's laid off, had two rows of layoffs, and they're going to revisit staff in a month, so I may lose my job. Student loans and health care would be the second one. I used to go to movies two times a week, and now I rent videos two times a week. I'm not on my mother's insurance anymore, so it's like, where do I go? Like, my job doesn't, they offer benefits, but it's too much out of a check. Well, it's no secret the economy has just about everyone afraid. In our Health Watch this morning, learning to manage that fear. Now, we can hear all about the stimulus package and the tax breaks, but the bottom line is more than 2 million people lost their jobs in 2007. Nearly 600,000 jobs lost just last month, and that's just feeding to our fears. But can we learn to manage it? Dr. Robbie Ludwig is a psychologist and contributing editor of Cookie Magazine, and she's here with some tips to keep fear from overtaking our lives. Easier said than done. You hear about yeah. you know, real world issues out there and you talk to people on the street, everybody's got a different issue uh, and it affects different people differently. So how do they manage this fear? What is your best advice? Well, you know, I, I, fear doesn't always have to be a bad thing. In, in some cases, fear can alert you to there being problems out there or it can help you to take care of yourself. So if you're feeling fearful, make fear your friend and use it in a productive way. Can people, hyper obsess about things though. Oh, I mean absolutely. when you hear something sure. like that well, I used to go to the movies twice a week now right. I'm renting twice a week uh, there are a lot of big ticket issues out there for people but can some people I guess hyper obsess about little things and make exacerbate a bigger problem oh absolutely here's the good news though I mean in this kind of economic climate people feel that they have company yeah. so there's this sense that maybe I can't do everything that I used to do but I'm in you know a boat that a lot of people are also sharing my experience yeah. but if you are hyper obsessing it can paralyze you and that's where the danger can really be and, and let's talk about some of the things that are affecting people that an associated press uh, GFX poll. 47% said they're worried about losing their jobs. 69% mm -hmm. said they're worried about the value of their retirement investments dropping. 65% said they're worried about not being able to pay their bills. 48% right. said they're worried about not being able to send their kids to college. Uh, they're worried about mortgages, this and that. So, okay, they're not worried about losing their job per se, but they're worried about a whole wide ranging issue of topics. How do you break it all down? How do you worry about this but not that? Or You know, you almost can't help what you worry about, but be smart about it. So you want to break it down into small steps. You can only do what you can do. You can't control everything. And I think that's what worrying does. It gives us the sense that if we worry, then maybe we can control the outcome. And what you really need to do is prioritize. So maybe you just need to economize. If you're worried about paying your bills, you do the best that you can. Maybe I have certain patients that have roommates now to share costs. They're downsizing. They're selling things in their home um, that they never really thought of as a way to make money. So be creative in terms of how you think about bringing income in. Is there a point, is there something people need to look at if you've reached a certain point where let's just say you're, you're snapping at everyone in your inner circle or you're just that irritable, you're no longer enjoyable yeah. to be around. Is there a certain point where people need to say to themselves, okay, need to step back, reevaluate things? Yeah, I mean, if you, for a two week period of time, if you're not able to sleep, if you're depressed, if you're paralyzed, if you're irritable, if you're snapping at people, if you're in danger of compromising and your family relationships and your work relationships, bring yourself to a doctor and see if you need an assessment. Maybe you need some medication management that you want to rule out or just somebody to talk to. And that's a good that's a good time frame to really observe yourself. And being positive wouldn't hurt either, You know, right? being positive, it doesn't hurt. You know, this is a time when people are reevaluating their priority their yep. priorities and looking towards family to get the support that they need. And I thought you brought up a great point. We are all in this together. We're all in the same boat, exactly. so it does help. Exactly. Yeah. All right, doctor, thank you very much. Thank Dr. you. Robbie Ludwig. For more on managing in these tough times, just go to our partner in health coverage, webmd.com, and search for stress. It's a very popular topic right now.